welcome to tech corner youtube channel in this video we are going to do a question on uh, intersection between two cylinders so the question says the figure shows two views of the intersection between two cylinders complete the views and draw the surface development of the smaller prism so uh, this will be a two-part question i would complete the views and then i will develop the i will do the surface development of the smaller prism in a different video so uh, the question here already is done but now let's see how to go about that question so this is how the question was the question was that so something i want to emphasize when you are drawing, copying the question and uh, the way it is, eh? this the angle between these two lines, the angle should be 90 degrees. So that's the angle I'm talking about. So ensure the angle is at 90 degrees between this line, the slanting line and the 30 degrees line. So this angle here is 90 degrees. So what you do, uh, the next step, uh, draw a semicircle on this 40, 40 millimeter side. So draw a semicircle there. So you can draw the semicircle. So the same circle we've drawn, I want you to divide that same circle into 12, into 6 parts.
now we have our subdivision there let's start uh, labeling them so this point zero also on top here that's point zero so this point one call it point one From each of these points, the one, two, three, two, one, zero, draw parallel lines to the base or to the main cylinder. So, also on the plan, eh? the plan here, so we can also have a, a semicircle. And also we subdivide that semicircle eh, into six points. Now, once you are done subdividing, we can also start numbering them. But now, this time, note 
we are starting with the three three at this point so this and this on the front view we start with zero but here now it will change we start with three two Well, Now from these points, the three, six points on uh, the plan, also draw parallel lines from each of the points. So the next thing from the cutting edge on our front elevation drop perpendiculars straight to the plan. So drop perpendicular from point zero.
Well, once you are done dropping perpendiculars from this cutting line, so ensure you have all of them. Now, where each meets or intersects with its correspondence from uh, the plan, you mark. So, like now, this zero, before that zero, this where the zero intersects. So we mark there. We have our mark. The small, let me increase the size. So number one this line number one where it intersects the two ones on the plan also mark Then for number two, I believe this number two, and also this number two, number three. So you fall in three from here, this is the center. So first it intersects there, and also here. And then we come to number two on the other side. So this number two, and also number two here. So we come to number one, this line number one, and this line number one. Then finally, line zero. After line 1, line 0, this is line 0, fold it down, it emits line 0 on the plan, at this point. So I think this one we did is wrongly. This point 1. So this one is wrong, we place there. So once you have all those points, uh, join the points using a French curve.
Sorry, my car seems to So with that, you would have completed the plan. Now, the next thing we need to do is find the curve of intersection. So what we do when finding the curve of intersection, eh? we draw the lines, vertical lines at 90 degrees. So from each of these points on the circumference of our circle, draw vertical lines and then degrees. Now, the next thing you do, where each of these lines from the points, like now this from point three, where it intersects, which is the line in point three, you mark. You put a mark there so that's point three now this point two on top and this point two here they share so point two this point two and point two here on top and then we come to point one Sorry, this is my point one, not point two. Point two is this one, so be key not to lose track. So this three, two, two. Now, point one, this point one here, and also point one. Then finally, point O, point zero. And here point zero. So next thing you do uh, take uh, during these points using a fair curve. So with that you have now the curve of intersection. the curve of intersection they required so that's the end of part a see you in part b thank you and remember to subscribe